I'm Tony Keith, the Christmas light guy. Welcome to my new series called the five minute tips and tricks. I'll show you a handy tip or trick in just five minutes. In this tutorial, I'll be exploring timing tracks, timing marks, and timing labels. I'll show you a quick tip on how to create timing tracks and another tip on how to create timing marks and labels. What is a timing track? What is a timing mark? What is a timing label? How do you use them? Let's have a look. Here is a screenshot from X-Lights with three timing tracks, timing marks, and timing labels. A timing track may contain timing marks and is used to provide reference points on a timeline in a sequence. These reference points are commonly used as starting and stopping points for effects. Common timing track names are beats, bars, metronome, and lyric timing tracks. Timing marks can be auto-generated using fixed timing or from a plugin such as the Queen Mary Vamp plugins. Timing marks can also be manually set. Timing labels are labels or descriptions added between a pair of timing marks. Here is the first tip. Open X Lights and go to the Sequencer tab. When you create a new sequence, either a musical or animation, if you don't define a timing track, a blank one called New Timing will be created for you. Why not create one or more named timing tracks when you create the sequence? Let me demonstrate. Create a musical sequence. Before you press the Done button, click on the Timings tab. Click New. I will create a Bars and a Beats timing track. First, the Bars timing track using a VAMP plugin. Next, the Beats timing track using a VAMP plugin. Finally, I will create an empty timing track that I will use for notes. As you can see, it creates the timing tracks and timing marks on the bars and beats tracks. Here is the second tip. Create a notes timing track and add notes. First, I will expand my music waveform. Make sure the notes timing track is selected. And I go along the waveform and here is a transition I want to mark. Press T at the desired position. Notice it added a timing mark and a line. Double click on the line and the dialog will appear. Type in your notes or description. I will call this section Intro. Move to the next desired location on the waveform. Press the letter T again to create another timing mark and line. Double click on the line and give it a name or description. I will call this section Effect 1. I will create one more timing mark and call this section need to update, so I can remember to update this section at a later time. Now I hope you have a better understanding of timing tracks, timing marks, and timing labels. Also remember my two quick tips. The first tip, create timing tracks when you initially create your sequence. This way you won't have to rename or delete the new timing track that's created by default. Second, Create labels timing track and add labels or notes. I use this tip all the time, especially when experimenting with new models, submodels, new effects, or creating my own sequence. Here's an example of a sequence I used in a previous video. As you can see, I labeled each effect so that I could find the desired effect in the sequence quickly. Timing labels are a very handy x -Lights tool, so why not use them? If you've enjoyed this 5-minute tips and tricks tutorial and would like to see more, please subscribe to my channel, The Christmas Light Guy.